Okay. So let's mo uh, let's make an another another object uh, brick wall. So let's go to shapes cube and hmm, how how huge should it be? Let's make it maybe five, say like this. Let's mm, move it a little bit no, this way. I think it's enough. I think it's nice. Or maybe four. No. Actually, it's too thick. Oh, perfect. So, this is going to be our wall. Yeah. Our wall. So, um, as you remember, let's go to fracture mode. New geometry collection, GC. GC wall. Let's create it and um, let's go to brick fracturing mode. Uh, we could also use slice, but it's uh, uh, it's not that realistic for bricks. So yeah, well, it's it's not that bad. But uh, it's not that bad, but it's not like bricks too. <laughs> so I want that. Let's go to brick. Um, where is our preview? <laughs> ah, we need to select the object, of course. That's why we cannot see our preview. And we have a preview. So, hmm. we have different methods of, um, I don't know, stacking the bricks together. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe English? Actually. Forty forty. Well, let's just see. Oh, that's not too nice. Let's make it again. Maybe stretcher, yeah. Or maybe we just should uh, rotate our wall because it's in different axes. Oh, nice. Now it's better. But it's too deep. We want two rows. Hmm, maybe thirty. Maybe more, more bricks. More bricks, please. Let's see how it works. I think it looks nice. Okay, not that nice. Oh my god! Yeah. As I told you, there is a bug with with bricks fracture method. And well, if you don't understand it yet, I will show you. <laughs> so we should have just bricks, right? And we have such a piece of geometry. Uh, well, it's not problem anymore because uh, since a few versions of Unreal, we can remove individual pieces. But I would prefer to make it right from the beginning. Anyway, uh, let's just tweak it a little bit. Uh, make uh, 20, maybe 20. Yeah. Let's do it like this. Okay, let's fracture it. Finally. Let's explode it. And yeah, it's not that bad, let's say. So now let's click the the bad object that we don't want to to have because we can uh, well we can we can click any object uh, any any piece we want and we can uh, we can either fracture it a single piece as you can see or we can uh, remove it by clicking here from 
and now as we can see it's not that bad okay I will save it actually I saw in post-production this tooltip that says that we have to say ground for more than zero to make it work correctly but even when you do that there is still uh, the weird object that you have to delete so we have 115 bricks mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see how it breaks uh, easiest method is just turning off clusters oh <laughs> crazy great I really like this wall <laughs> okay so we have a nice wall so <coughs> clustering let's enable enable uh, clustering again and now we could select all the pieces go to uniform fracture mode uh, put a crazy amount in here like seven oh it's sick maybe 400 well, it's gonna be more because we have already uh, our geometry sliced, so um, there will be a lot more than we put in here. Let's put a hundred. And as you can see, yeah, all these intersections, it's gonna make a few hundreds of pieces. Yeah, but I have a pretty good computer, so let's put it 200. <laughs> okay, let's fracture. <laughs> oh, 1000 pieces. Nice. It's gonna kill a CPU. Okay. Uh, I will show you one more trick, which is really useful. Uh, when you press, uh, press uh, Shift and W, you can. Uh, uh, or S, you can change the fracture level in preview. And when you press Shift and D, Shift and E, Shift and E, or Shift and, uh, and Q, you can uh, change the explode amount. So, when we look closely, perfect. So now, our bricks are fragmented even more and we have three three levels of fragmentation I think it looks really pretty nice pretty nice uh, <laughs> cool so let's see how it breaks And let's maybe add a texture to it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We need to decrease the damage threshold because it's just too strong. Oh wow. That was really nice. It's like one object, not individual bricks. Which is cool because because that's uh, that's a wall. And it should do what? walls do <laughs> so maybe like this oh ho, ho. nice it's too weak maybe something like this well we can always change damage threshold it's harder to change uh, the fragmentation later when you make blueprints or something which is what we are going to do uh, later um, and without clusters it's gonna just kill the kill the CPU so it's it's not a good option to make any objects without clustering because it's just um, saving a ton of uh, computing power and it looks better so um, let's turn off bone colors and Pick some material like brick, brick, new. Okay, I think all alt looks nice. Well, yeah, 
maybe it's not perfect because the texture is not like the fragmentation <laughs> but you know who cares uh, great so now we have two objects and um, I will just uh, show you a few more fragmentation trees maybe so let's make let's take a sphere it's gonna be a bullet a bullet in in the next tutorial so let's make it smaller it's gonna be a bullet GC bullet So, uh, when we slice something, let's let's pick any slicing and and slice it again with something like this, for example. Yeah. Now we have five hundred pieces. Okay. Mm. So we have uh, two different. Uh, three three levels and two different uh, fragmentation methods and if you uh, let's say you just want this uh, fragmentation which was done by two fracture um, types um, and you don't want the, the level one you want level two to be level one so let's select all the all the objects um, and just click flatten what that means is just gonna flatten all your levels to level 0 and level 1 if there are any cuts uh, so when you when you do your clustering let's say we want uh, four levels so let's make I don't know 400 pieces out of cluster oh, let's select all 400 pieces, I don't know, 300 pieces. No, not 1000. Oh man. Yeah, so let's say we screwed something like this. So just select all pieces and click flatten. So one more time, we can make a 400, 300. Of course, we have to select first. 200, I don't know, 50. And now we have a lot of levels. Um, so that's the root, that's level one. And now you can see really interesting shapes. Really, really interesting shapes. And we have a lot of levels. <clears throat> Here there is a tab uh, which is called uh, fractured hierarchy, and it's exactly the same thing as like uh, the, the, the picture I, I've shown you. Um, you can select individual pieces, and you see their numbers and the pieces that are uh, creating them. So when we go to <coughs> to the highest level and we click something, so as you can see, these two pieces are contained in this piece. Um, which is a part of even bigger piece, probably. Uh, when we reduce uh, levels, then we will see. So this is a piece that consists of these two pieces and you can see everything in this outliner. It's really helpful. So when we select all and, and flatten it, it looks like that, yeah, as expected. Yeah, so let's reset it and, uh, well, let's, uh, let's pick maybe cluster cluster fragmentation fracture type uh, let's select the the sphere how many pieces do we want 
let's say we want um 28 okay I think it's not bad it's pretty nice actually yeah and now we can also of course select all cluster and make like seven pieces okay well this piece is too big I think so let's flatten it and make maybe eight Oh, perfect. So it's now, uh, it's not that good too. Let's make 10. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay. So we have three levels of fragmentation. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Choose first person project line material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too strong. Still too strong. Oh, nice. That's I would. Change it, yeah, perfect. Great, so we have our bullet now. And if we even turn off the clustering, oh, that's nice, yeah. Yeah, it breaks really nicely. Mm, and yeah. We will make a refill in the next tutorial, I think, because it will be pretty useful for for just testing fragmentation and the destruction and everything. <laughs> it's hard to test the destruction without any weapon. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> for now on it, it looks like this. But we have beautiful three beautiful objects. And yeah. So yeah. I hope that you liked this tutorial and you have learned something and we will continue uh, making our game in, in the next tutorial. Subscribe, like the video and uh, see you soon. Bye!